okay students in the last class we have seen about uh, different jfet amplifier configurations like common source common gate and common drain amplifier and also we have seen the analysis of those things like voltage gain input impedance and output impedance in this class we are going to discuss about how the jfet can be worked like a voltage variable resistor so what is meant by voltage variable resistor so when we change the input voltage the resistor value is getting changed that is the meaning of voltage variable resistor by applying some voltage the value of the resistance will be varied okay so this can be done by using the jfet so in this concept we are going to see that okay let us see the jfet as a voltage variable resistor concept in this this is the n channel jfet symbol where vgs is the input voltage and vds is the output voltage and id is the drain current which is the output current too so the ideal current voltage characteristics when the transistor is a biased in the saturation region can be given as id the drain current id is equal to idss into 1 minus vgs divided by vp whole square okay the drain current can be given as idss into 1 minus vgs by vp whole square so we already know the jfet can be worked in four regions actually so the characteristics of the jfet can be divided into four regions one is the ohmic region okay this one is the ohmic region and this one is the saturation region and here we have cutoff region and here we will have the breakdown region the jfet can be worked in any of these four regions but most of the cases we always prefer the saturation region which will have a constant output current okay let us see where idss in the above equation the idss is called as a saturation current when the vgs is equal to zero so this is a curve when when vgs is equal to zero okay so the current at this point is called as IDSS. Okay, so the saturation current when VGS is equal to 0 into VGS. What is VGS here? The gate to source voltage VGS and where VP is called as a pinch of voltage. Okay, so what is the pinch of voltage when VGS is equal to 0? From which point we are getting the constant current? Okay, so Suppose say this point is called as VP point, okay. That voltage is called as a pinch of voltage, okay. So before the pinch of voltage, the characteristics are linear characteristics, the output characteristics are linear characteristics. So this this entire region is called as a ohmic region because of that it is called as ohmic region. For the FET is operated in a constant current portion of its output characteristics for the linear application. For all linear applications, we are going to use the FET in a constant current portion here. Okay. So, and then the region before the pinch off. So, here we have the pinch off region. Okay. Just before that pinch off, the VDS is very, very small. The drain to source voltage in this region is very, very, very small. Okay. And then the drain to source resistance RD. There is a resistance exists between the drain to source. Okay. So from the drain to source, there is a resistance RD and which can be controlled by VGS. Okay. So instead of VDS, okay, because the VDS value is very, very small in this region. So, this is that drain resistance will be controlled by the VGS based on the VGS. See, here, here the VGS is equal to 0, the curve 1, so which has a more slope. And the, when the VGS is equal to minus 1, this is the second curve and the slope of the second curve is somewhat lesser than the first curve. And when the VGS is equal to minus 3 volts, then this is the slope of the curve okay so very very small portion small linear portion we have okay so that is how 
here vgs is controlling the drain resistance here in this region in the ohmic region the value of the resistance is getting varied and it is operating by the vgs instead of vds okay so that we can say the fet is useful as a voltage variable resistor or voltage dependent resistor the fet can be useful like a voltage variable resistor or voltage dependent resistor okay in the jfet the drain to source conductance gd is equal to id divided by vds the drain current divided by the vds okay that will gives you the out drain to source conductance value and the 1 by gd value will be equal to the drain to source resistance rd okay so as i told this region is called as a ohmic region okay this region is called as ohmic region and this one is the saturation region and this one is a cutoff region okay and breakdown region will be there after this okay so this is the output characteristics of the jfet and let us see the variation of this uh, rd the drain resistance rd with vgs can be closely approximated by the empirical equation okay so here what is happening the resistance which means the slope of these curves okay the slope of these curves are varying with the vgs value so that can be given by the empirical equation the drain resistance rd is equal to r not divided by 1 minus vgs by vp whole square okay the drain resistance rd is equal to output resistance r not at vgs is equal to 0 divided by 1 minus vgs by vp whole square okay where r not is the drain resistance at 0 gate bias which means that the 0 vgs is equal to 0 then what is the resistance the drain resistance rd which is called as r not okay that is called as r not and the drain resistance the variable drain resistance which means that based on the vgs the drain resistance is getting varied in this entire ohmic region okay so that is given as rd is equal to r naught by 1 minus vgs by vp whole square thus the small signal fat drain resistance rd varies with the applied gate voltage vgs in fact acts like a voltage variable passive resistor fat finds wide applications where voltage variable resistor property is used so where we used this voltage variable resistor means so one of the example is agc automatic gain control in a multi-stage amplifiers for example these automatic gain controls agc circuits are used in a gain controlling of the receivers as well as in a voltage levels like in our tvs no we are using the agc controls we are using this agc control for providing the constant output voltage so here if you see one channel may have higher volume than other channel okay so when we switch to that channel what will happen automatically we may get more volume so if you use this automatic gain control that will automatically control the gain to the required range or the set range okay so even though if you change the channel the output volume will be equal to same okay so that is the use of having the voltage variable resistors okay so in the next class we are going to see about the mosfets okay so we are going to start the mosfet and their analysis